Here we have a new 2023 Ford Bronco Sport. This one comes in the Outer Banks trim level in shadow black. And then we have Ebony Rose leather and leather red interior. The powertrain consists of a 181 horsepower, 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine made to an eight speed automatic transmission. And coming around to the front end here, love that look of course. We have LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. And then coming around the wheels here, these are gonna be 18s. I love how the black goes with this black here as well. It's a really nice look. Get passive keyless entry on the front doors, power door lock controls here, memory seat controls there. And then we do have one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors. And then we have our power mirror controls here, rear window lock there, bottle holders here. I like it's two sizes that's actually a pretty good size but this one's huge and little storage in there we'll pop this hood for later and then we can unlock the trunk headlamp controls we have auto high beams there fog light controls are there and then we have our brightness for the gauge cluster we can tilt and telescope the steering wheel and then we have a power driver seat with power lumbar support there and i just love i love how they did the just this design here it's kind of quirky but i love how that is in the the seat there and then the roast right here the ebony there in the middle just a fantastic look but i have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being six foot three so let's see how i fit back here so for this kind of vehicle not surprising but i love how they shape the seats where you have a little bit of space in there if you need it. And the design is really nice for such a small cabin. But rear AC vents are there. And then you have a USB-C and a USB-A input down there. And a three-pronged household plug-in. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. But there's a view of the front from back here. And then I do like that on both sides, you have this zippable pocket here. And you can use for storage. And then cup holders are going to be right here in the middle seat. We do get the premium dome lights, which is nice. And I love that we have the hook hanger here, two or three shirts that fit on there. And then we have the grab bar there. So let's make our way to the back. But before we do that, that's where all the part content information is. If you wanna know where this is made. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Ford Lincoln and Franklin for allowing me to review this car today. I'll leave a link below to it as well as their tire new vehicle inventory in the description below there's a look at the back end there look at underneath the vehicle we do get a dual exhaust which is interesting and i like that you can either pop the glass here and you can run longer objects that way or you can pop the whole door and then plenty of space behind the second row here and then you can even pop these hooks out if you want to. Let's see how you do that. There it is. You got to push that in and then you can actually hang the, the bags there and it kind of keeps from going anywhere. And then I like that we have a button here as well. And what this does is illuminates the back. That's pretty neat. And then 12 volt here. And I love that we have hooks as well to tie stuff up if we ever need to do that. Whether it's a cargo net tray or something you don't want moving around. And you pop this up and the spare is underneath there too. So just great usability for this back here. And then as we come around to the back seat, we can fold that down, pushing a button in here. And then when the seat's up far enough, these will fold flat and you can run longer objects from the back to the front. And then you can just pop it back into place pretty easily. Just got to make sure the seat belt's not in the way. Sorry about that. And then to the window sticker here, if we can see through this tent, just pause anywhere you need to. And then this one stickers right at 
but I love this. We have a six way front passenger seat, which is crazy to see on a vehicle like this, even in the higher trim levels. Little storage pocket there, netted, glove compartment here. Great size for this kind of vehicle. Tons of space, and we even have that storage spot underneath the radio, but we'll get into that here in a minute. Now coming around to the engine bay, there's that 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged engine. And I always forget, with this hood, you just have to pull the latch twice instead of hitting it once and then having to hit a release at the front. We'll top in the driver's seat. So the leather wrap steering wheel feels incredible. And I love how you can see the Bronco emblems throughout. Like I showed you on the seat before, but steering wheel, just all throughout, just makes it look that much more premium. But over here to the radio, we do get AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth audio. Sorry, the film's still in the way. And then we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility as well. So it's kind of hard to see the settings. So I won't be on here too long. But driver assistance, you can turn the lane keeping system to alert or you can set it to alert and aid. So I'll set it there. And then blind spot monitors and a few other settings. But to connect the phone, just go to add phone Search and it walks you through it. On your device and select it once it is found. Pretty easy to do. And then backup cameras there, guidelines follow you to turn the steering wheel. And then you have the backup sensors there as well. And those will change colors as you get close to something. But down here, we turn this AC off. Sorry if you all are hearing that cut the whole system off and then you can go to the home page there and then hit it again turn the screen off and then just hit this button again to put it back and then this serves as a mute button or this goes to your sound setting excuse me and then this is your volume and then click that and that's your mute button there and then you can use this to tune but AC vents I like how they're made I like how easy it is to use that and I think it's super neat to be able to turn this and then it closes the vents or opens them. Now down here, we do have our dual zone automatic climate controls. We can control fan direction here. We have three stage auto mode. So depending on what you have it set to, which it'll show you here, you can get to that temperature rather quickly, halfway or slow as it'll go. And you can control the actual fan speed here. Then you get three stage heated front seats and then a heated steering wheel toggle there. And then you can turn your dual mode on and off there without having to adjust the temperature. So, USB C, USB A input, 12 volt. Plenty of storage there to charge your phone. And then for the shifter, just a rotary style, park, reverse, neutral, drive. And there's your low gear there. And you have an electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down to disengage. Automatic brake hold is here. And then your drive modes will be here. So you have normal, eco, sport, slippery, and then you have your sand mode there. So what's great about the Bronco Sports is you do have that four wheel drive and just makes everything so much more easier if you do need to take it off road or whatever. And there's your the back seat sunglass holder and then over here we have our cruise controls we can adjust all that cancel volume mute and then over here voice recognition you can use for bluetooth controls and then also serves as your track list or radio station presets there and then all of this is for your digital part of the gauge cluster so tire pressure sensors are there you can look at your fuel economy and then you can control what screens are actually in there Blinkers are here, and you can control the lane keeping system, toggle it on and off from that stock there. And then you can flash your high beams, and you can turn the high beams on there. And then over here, windshield wiper controls, and you can control the automatic wipers here and your rear wiper here. So this controls how sensitive the automatic wipers are, and then you have one time, auto, low, high. And then push button start, and finally, 
Here's the key file with remote start. But next is time we go ahead and take this Bronco Sport out on the road for a quick test drive. So driving the Bronco Sport, I will recommend going with the more potent four cylinder turbo. This one's fine, but it just lacks the power that I would like to have personally. And I feel like, especially if you're gonna be taking it off road, you'll wanna have that turbo four over the three. But if you're gonna be using it mostly just to look good, then the three cylinder will be fine, especially if you don't go fast or don't accelerate fast, let me put it that way. But overall ride quality is pretty stellar in my opinion, just for this kind of vehicle to have a, a four wheel drive small SUV pretty impressed so far and pretty quiet in the cabin itself even though it's somewhat windy outside and Ford really did a great job with this because like the Mustang Mach-E they kind of just threw a name on something and it just got a lot of buzz people were like oh that's a new Bronco no it's a Bronco Sport but it is four wheel drive and if you're wanting something to compete, it's kind of like a Jeep Cherokee maybe, a Jeep Patriot, somewhere in the smaller Jeep segment. This is a pretty good competitor for that. But you're also able to get almost 30 miles per gallon with it as well. And with this Outer Banks in particular, of course you can upgrade to the Badlands and that's pretty much the cream of the crop before the Heritage Editions. But this is a pretty good trim in my opinion. You get the heated leather wrap wheel, the heated seats, and then you have the radio as well. Pretty much all you need. And then it's pretty easy to take this camping, whatever you wanna do with it. Now I'm gonna put it into sport mode now. I'm not gonna give it too much throttle though. Now, of course, the transmission revs a little higher. You stay in those lower gears. And it does feel quite strong as opposed to the normal mode. Give it a little pull here. It's somewhat quick. Pulls very nicely. And it does keep you pretty high in the rev range, as you can see. So I'm pretty impressed by that. And overall, the ride is not rough at all. It's actually almost plush. I hit that bump pretty often driving around here. And I just took an F-250 on it earlier and it about rocked my world, but this Bronco Sport took it pretty nicely. Of course, you can still feel it, but it wasn't overly intrusive. It took it very well. So we're going to get on the interstate here. And I'm going to accelerate in sport mode to see if that feels any better than it was in normal in terms of acceleration. And then I'm going to put it into eco and turn on the cruise control. Now the sport mode does a pretty good job, I will say, because you can't manually shift this, but it does a good job. It just based on your throttle output, doing what it needs to do. So pretty peppy there, as opposed to the normal mode. Still, I would recommend going with the two liter, but gets the job done but well, let's go ahead and put it into eco and then turn this cruise on and I like that it shows you the intelligent four-wheel drive just how it's mostly pulling from the front to maximize your fuel economy but when you need the four-wheel drive it does what it's supposed to do
the ride is pretty great. I will say that. Just cruising here, going down the interstate, pretty impressed. And with the turbo engine, even on uphill inclines, I'm not suffering in cruise control, having to maintain that speed. But I mean, final thoughts on the Bronco Sport, a little high for me, but if you're in the market for one of these, you really get a good SUV in terms of the power, the transmission, the four wheel drive, the features. And if you're wanting to kind of shy, shy away from Jeep or a Subaru and you want a Ford, this is definitely it. So this will bring me to the end of my review of this new 2023 Ford Bronco Sport and the Outer Banks trim level.